At least a dozen federal judges now say they won't accept clerks from Yale Law School. Wow. They cite concern for free speech at Yale. Here are some of the judges' concerns. Judge James Ho said, I don't want to cancel Yale. I want Yale to stop canceling people like me. Not only tolerates the cancellation of views, it actively practices it. I want nothing to do with it. Judge Elizabeth Branch said, legitimate concerns about the lack of free speech on law school campuses, Yale in particular, Lawrence Silberman, all federal judges, all federal judges are presumably committed to free speech, should carefully consider whether any such students so identified should be disqualified for potential clerkships. Clerkships make or break young lawyers' careers. A Supreme Court clerkship takes a year or two with lower federal judges. So Yale won't budge so far. Ian Samuel would know what a clerkship can do. Clerk for Supreme Court Justice Anton Scalia uh, in with us now. Wow. Yeah, right. I is, mean, it, is this really fair, though, to students at Yale who are just, you know, got into a law school and are trying to make it through the world? You know, it's so unfair to students at Yale that even I, who delight in torturing Yale law students for almost any reason, have to object that this is a little bit unfair. It also doesn't make a ton of sense to me, right? I understand the objection that Yale and some other schools have become ideologically homogenous in ways that Judge Ho objects to, and, and that's fine. And maybe you could say that there'd be some argument then for doing something about that. But I don't understand how this doesn't do the opposite. Doesn't this tell every bright, young, conservative, potential law student out there that they should go elsewhere? And so won't Yale just be filled up with more of the exact same kinds of people who like things the way that they are? Shouldn't you want to encourage, you know, infiltration by smart, young conservatives into the belly of the beast? I mean, what is this? Where's, where's your fighting spirit? They can't hey, all I, go I to Chicago. Happens, That's a small school, too. What happens if you flip this around, right, and then all of a sudden liberal judges said, oh, I'm going to only accept Berkeley students uh, or right. Harvard students uh, for right. or they, or they said that, that the University of Chicago, Chicago would be the best example because it's traditionally identified uh, as a school uh, that has you know, a lot of smart conservative thinkers, right? And it's small and it's prestigious and does a lot of clerkship stuff like Yale. Can you imagine what would happen if a bunch of Obama or Biden nominees uh, on the federal benches started saying that they weren't, <laughs> they weren't gonna accept clerkship applications from people at the University of Chicago? People would rightly think, we have lost our minds. You people, first of all, are federal judges. And, you know, not for nothing, but the courts of appeals are not exactly deciding world historical stuff every single day. It's a lot of, you know, ERISA cases, a lot of federal habeas corpus appeals. I mean, and the other thing is, you know, my old boss, Justice Scalia, he managed to get by with me in chambers, as did my judge on the court of appeal, Judge Alex Kuczynski, even though I'm much more left-leaning than either of the two of them were. And I don't know if Judge Ho just thinks that he's more committed to ideological purity than just to Scalia was or what, but this is really, I really think it's kind of a nasty thing, and I really hope it doesn't catch on, because what about no, students right. who D go diversity to law school without makes every, clear views yet? Yeah, well, diversity, right? of, diversity of thought makes every uh, classroom, uh, be it a, a law school class, any other class stronger, it makes any chambers of, of judges stronger. Yale cancel yes. culture timeline, May 2020, students encouraged unrelenting daily confrontations against members of the Federal Society, that's a conservative uh, law school group, March 2022. Students threatened two guest speakers and staff at a free speech event, uh, protested a conservative guest who defended an LGBTQ-related Supreme Court decision. Federal Society student member was pressured into apologizing to a former Obama aide. The flip side of this is, is money, right, always, because law school is a business. Uh, going to Yale costs $93,000 a year. Is there a market force here in that if Judge, Judge Ho and others are hoping, hey, look, if, if People stop applying to Yale because of this, even, even liberal uh, leaning potential clerks, then maybe, maybe Yale changes its ways. Well, I don't think it would be about the dollars and cents because I think that Yale will always be able to sell you a Yale law degree for $300,000 or whatever it is. Now, what I do think is true, however, is that if it actually did become widespread, and I hope it doesn't, among conservative Federalist Society types of judges, of whom there are a lot on the federal courts, thanks to President Trump, there are a lot of these people, if it became universally sort of known that being from Yale was a minus with these judges, more than it already is, because it's already a little bit of a minus, 
this. It could really hurt Yale because they feed so many of their students into especially the academy, where a federal clerkship is a really important credential for a lot of people, and into the kinds of prestigious government jobs where federal clerkships are also important credentials. You get a lot of students who go to Yale who really look in the mirror, and as uh, you were saying in an earlier segment, they see a future Supreme Court justice, if not a Supreme Court law clerk. But, so, but, but those who go to Harvard don't see that at all. Ever. Uh, well, no. that's the, that's no, the thing. Never. That what, what's going to happen? They're going to go to Harvard instead, and this is some bastion of, you know, intellectual <laughs> uh, t tolerance. I mean, this I, I don't understand how signaling out Yale in particular, yeah. unless you just don't like the pizza, is going to get the job done. Or you but just it don't like New Haven. Judge I mean, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of other complaints. Uh, it's good to see you, Ian. You too. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.